All right, tool tips. Today we're talking block tool and filled shape tool. Block tool is quite simple. You click on it. You have a lot of the same stuff in the dialog box here that we, we've seen in some of our other tools, uh, but it's very straightforward. You click on the top left of where you want the block, the top right, and then the bottom left, and you get yourself a block. It defaults to two by two step interval. And you can go here and you can make the lines uh, a certain amount of positions, or you can type in the interval and then manipulate it. Say you wanted a four by four block, you could go ahead and manipulate from there, dragging the handles out, finding how many people you'd like in your block. There is a uh, position to, uh, counter right here, and that will help you to um, see how many people that you are placing. On the right side, we have a lot of the same tools here that we've seen in our other ones. Omit overlaps, just in case you're in the middle of a drill and you're placing this block uh, connected to a form. Maybe there's somebody at the end of the form that is the, the end of, edge of this block. You can use the omit overlaps tool. Of course, you've got your clone tool, as Pyware does all the time, where you can clone uh, across the mid uh, mid stage or close to the mid stage. You can manipulate where you want that. And if you want it to move up or down, you can always uh, use those tools as well uh, to do that. The restrict horizontal, uh, the restrict horizontal vertical tool, uh, which just uh, restricts that interval that you put in, and no matter how you manipulate the um, the block, it'll make sure that that four step spacing uh, is something that it doesn't allow you to change. And then dim others, which uh, in the case of using the block tool in a drill, will dim the look of the other symbols that you are not working with at the time. And then that way, it's just a little bit easier to see who you want to pick to go where. Now, you can also create diamonds using the block tool. So it, to make a diamond, you click on the left side of the diamond, the top of the diamond, and the bottom of the diamond, and you'll get a diamond here. The two by two won't really cause it to be on, on the grid. So you need to know how many positions you'd like in your line. I find that's the best way to get what you're looking for. Uh, in this case, I, if I wanted a kind of a two by two rise over run, I would put five positions in by five positions, and then I would have this uh, locked in. And it makes it the 2.82, which it is usually to make the kind of the on the grid two by two rise over run. Now from here, you can lock this interval and you can unlock the positions, and then you can make this however big you want and manipulate it from there uh, if you needed to make it larger. Now, I thought maybe the rise over run tool would do this for me, but it didn't really do what I thought it did. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I did my diamond, top and bottom, and I went to rise over run, and I put two by two in, and I really get no change. Um, when I do that. So I'm not quite sure how I need to manipulate this tool, the rise over run. Um, it's not as straightforward as it was with the line tool that I used in my big four video. So I still recommend using this method. Just know how many people you want. Start by making the small diamond and then locking the interval, unlocking the positions, and then just dragging it out and making it you know, the size that you want. That's a you know, good way to make a diamond using the block tool. All right, guys, let's talk about the filled shape tool. Now, this tool is really interesting for creating different filled shapes. Um, it's a little tricky to use to get exactly the look you want. So sometimes you have to create a form that's maybe a little bit bigger and then delete a person out of it. Um, or you, know, you just have them out there, but then you, you don't select a, a player to go to that form if you're in the middle of a drill. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, say you wanted to make a, a diamond. You just click the top left of the diamond, top right, and then the, the point. And this looks really good. Um, you can stagger it. You know, but the, the tricky little thing is at the end of this, you know, there's, there's no point. So no matter how you manipulate this, a point won't show up at the bottom of the, of the form. So there's a little bit of trickiness that goes into it. Knowing how many positions you have really helps to uh, get the look you're going for. And then you just kind of play around with it from there. 
And also you can do, you know, more like a, a rhombus shapes. Uh, no matter how many handles you click, it will try to fill in this form. So uh, it doesn't even matter if you do four, four points, five, um, you know, you, you try to make, uh, you know, more of a pentagon or, you know, something like that. So, you know, you, you can use it to kind of play around with these forms, but I'll show you another method uh, you can use this for. And this is, I think, something that's, um, that's pretty useful. Uh, of course, uh, like usual, you can change the horizontal interval, the horizontal interval, you can change the vertical interval, how many positions you want, you can clone it, you know, all of the typical methods and things that are available in all of the, the tools. But there's um, a couple things that are really cool about this, this tool. Um, one, you've got stagger, which will move people into the windows. That's a great feature. But this other one is the scatter places. So let me show you something that's pretty cool. Say you want to fill up this whole back of the field with scattered performers. Maybe there's an effect moment in your show. Everyone runs to the back and does something or runs to the corner and does choreo uh, during uh, you know, a ballad or something like that. And you just don't exactly know how to randomize them. This is a great tool for doing it. Say you want them all around the back. Fill up the zone with how many people you want. Uh, say you have 64 kids that need to go there and maybe make them eight by eight. So you spread them out, but it looks too blocky, obviously. Um, and the more you manipulate this, you know, the positions will change. So you just got to make sure you do that. But click this scatter places button. Now it looks a little funny now, but if you want everyone to be at least like six steps from each other, just hit six in this distancing window right here or eight and then hit randomize, randomize. Okay, now it's gonna tell you that there's only enough room for so many people. So you may wanna start making this smaller, uh, five. Five looks like we can start fitting in uh, the people we're looking for. You can lock in your number of performers to 66, randomize, and it'll give you a completely random set of dots and then of course you go there and you can accept it you can um, you know pick which kids go to which which dots but it's a nice way to make a totally random group of people on the field so that's the filled shape form i hope this block tool and filled shape tool video helped you to understand all of the useful functions uh, of these tools so i hope this was helpful to you uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.